Welcome back. Today I would like to share you how you can downgrade your 32-bit device into the older version. And if you don't know uh, whether your phone is 32-bit device, you can check from the list here that I put on the screen. And you can see um, in the background I have the iPhone 5, uh, which I have downgraded before. Um, basically, it is on iOS 10.3.3. But I have just downgraded into iOS 6 and you can see and it has a 5GB left. Now I'm gonna show you on my iPhone 4S which is um, 32-bit device as well. Now um, in order to do it um, you need to be jailbroken and I have already jailbroken my iPhone 4S and then I can go ahead and just go to side here. Then you're gonna go to sources, hit on edit and then hit on add you need to add coolbooter.com you need to tie like this and hit on add source after that click on return to side here and go ahead and click on the repo and hit on all packages hit on coolbooter hit on modify and install it hit on confirm now go back to your home screen you should be able to see cool booter right here. Click on it. And then you need to click on install. Then you should be able to see this screen where you can select the iOS version that you want to downgrade to. So um, it is it allows you to downgrade to iOS 9, iOS 8, or iOS 7, and even the iOS 6. So um, now let me um, downgrade to 7.0 and then you can select on storage where you can set the storage for your secondary iOS version. So if your phone is 64 gig, you can select up to like um, 53, uh, like 54 gigabyte. So now I'm going to select on 54 gigabyte, hit on select, then hit on I'm ready. Now um, it will ask you if you want a custom boot logo. So I'm going to click on no because I don't want it. And if you want a touch running on the screen, hit on yes. But if you don't want a touch running on the screen, hit on no. Now I'm going to, so I want a touch on the screen, I can click on yes. Now it is downloading iOS 1 from Apple. So with this step, you need to connect to the internet. So make sure you have the stable internet connection. And after everything is done, you will need to restart your phone so just simply hit on restart now after restart you need to go back and rejailbreak your phone before you can boot to the secondary ios so um, if you click on um, cool booter straight away it is going to crash because um, you need to enable jailbreak first so i can go ahead and click on finish and then i can um, enable the jailbreak Now after you have enabled the jailbreak, so after after that, just go back to your home screen. Now you should be able to launch Cool Booter. Now you should be able to click on Boot, and you need to lock your device. Now wait for the screen, so you can see um, the touch running here. So just don't panic, just wait for it. Now this is the last step before you can boot into your older version. So um, if you click on cool booter, it is going to crash again. So now go to finish and then um, enable the jailbreak first.
Now after you have enabled the jailbreak, go ahead and go back to cool booter and then hit on boot. Now you need to lock your phone. Now it is booting to iOS 7 as you can see. And finally, we are here on iOS 1, and you can see it has already been jailbroken. And if I go to setting, go to general, go to about, you can see it is on iOS 1, and we have uh, 49 gigabyte left. So um, you can experience iOS 1 on your older device again. So let's see the animation when you unlock your phone. It is very awesome. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you. And then I will see you guys in the next one.